Peter and Wendy. It's going to be great, right? Live action Peter Pan Disney. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not going to be great. Sounds like we have something we can all get behind. That's right. It's Peter and Wendy, the new live action from Disney. And as I'm sure most of us have all ridden that live action Disney train, we remember when Lion King made a billion dollars. Not so much anymore. Things aren't going as well for Disney currently. And if this movie's been ditched to Disney+, Plus, I'm pretty sure there's a reason why. They just don't think it's going to make money in the movies. But beyond that, it's kind of interesting because people seem to really hate it. And I don't think it's going to fail for the reasons that everybody's saying in the press. But let's take a look, let's hit some articles, read about some things, and then we'll talk about why I think this is going to fail for a completely different reason other than the Wokies. Or the other side, that they both hate it. The conservatives, liberals, everybody, everybody hates this. They hate the idea. So this article is from the New York Post. And it says that Peter Pan fans slam trailer for woke remake with girls among the Lost Boys. So watch the, the trailer. And there's a part. There's a scene where they say... Uh, Oh, what? The, something about g girls being in the Lost Boys? So? So what? And I think that is kind of the spirit of why the movie doesn't make a lot of sense. And look, Peter Pan's got a long, weird, weird history. I mean, on Broadway, it's usually played by chicks. Peter Pan himself is usually played by a girl. I know, like, was it Julie Andrews or something like that? I don't know. Like, do you really like Peter Pan? Think about it. There's some iconic things. I know people have a lot of nostalgia for Hook, but Bangarang, I mean, was it really that good? If you go back and really, if you watch it, do you really think it holds up? I bet you, yeah, yeah it doesn't. And I bet you it's not as good as you think it was. Like, there's a lot of iconic imagery. The, cl the gator with the clock inside of it. Captain Hook. Smee, Smee is great. Peter, kind of a dick. And, you know, uh, yeah, just, I don't think it holds up. I just don't. So, people are giving a lot of backlash. And they're arguing over, like, what's the worst part of it? Uh, Wendy doesn't, Wendy doesn't even look like Wendy. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> but... <laughs> And people are upset that Tinkerbell and Peter Pan is Indian and Tinkerbell is black and the Lost Boys have girls. Don't really, none of that really, I mean, who cares? Like, does it really, there's a more fundamental problem here. Uh, somebody else, it, there's a lot of anger. But then there's anger on the other side. Now, TMZ has an article. TMZ says, Twitter pissed over Black Tinkerbell. Would rather have new POC colors or POC characters. What? They think that uh, Disney's choice to make Tinkerbell black in the upcoming Peter Pan and Wendy flick instead of making a new character for a person color is terrible move, and they're up in arms over it. Shock. Shocker shocking i mean tinkerbell's pretty iconic you know she does all the disney stuff with the pixie dust and things like that i think this girl's very attractive um but here's somebody they're saying they're saying it out loud disney couldn't care less about making new stories with poc color uh, characters they just put poc people to play white characters and that shows one how lazy disney is Two, how racist this is. It's like they don't even, they don't think POC people deserve their own stories besides like three animated movies. <laughs> so you got everybody mad about this. Literally everybody. Oh, people wanted uh, Dove Cameron to be uh, Tinkerbell. 
I, sure, whatever, don't care. I don't even know what to her. She has different pronouns too now. So whatever, she wants to do whatever she wants. Here's what I think the fundamental problem is. We'll move on briefly here. Do you remember back in, you might not remember, but there was another Peter Pan movie back in 2015 called Pan. Do you remember that? You probably don't. I don't remember because I never watched it because I don't like Peter Pan that much. I don't think the Peter Pan story holds up. I don't think the moral of Peter Pan holds up. Do you remember this movie with such actors as Hugh Jackman playing Blackbeard, Rooney Mara playing Tiger Lily? Pretty sure she got in trouble for that because they didn't want her playing a... Uh, a uh, American Indian character, uh, Garrett Hedlund as Hook. Bunch of Cara Delevingne is there, isn't there as, as mermaids? Maybe she's multiple mermaids. Who knows? I'm pretty sure it was like a space, a space boat flies through space. I saw a little bit of the trailer and I was like, this is this is weird. It's called Pan. Nobody watched it. I'm just telling you, nobody watched it, right? But here's where I think the fundamental issue lies. Now, if you think back to Peter Pan and um, the, the, the main thing is that Peter doesn't want to grow up and he finds all these lost boys and when the girl shows up, the lost boys take a real liking to her because they've never had a motherly figure before. They've never had, you know, the Lord of the Flies. The kids are all running around crazy doing whatever they want. They miss the nurturing side of having a female presence. And they even say it in the story that only boys would be stupid enough to fall for the tricks to fall into, you know, Neverland and never come home. Girls are far too clever for that. It might be in the book. But if you think about it, you know, her power is her nurturing. Like she, she her power is to, is the nurturing, the structure making things better for the boys, cleaning, not cleaning up after them. I mean, she sort of does that, but giving them structure so that they can be more civilized, right? I don't think that growing up nurturing thing, it doesn't match with today's times. I'm sorry. People don't want to grow up anymore. People are in their 60s and they still ain't growing up. You know, uh, the new 20 is the new 30 is the new 40 is the I'm never growing up. I'm not adulting. Adulting is not for me. And I think that story, that moral, it does not resonate with people anymore. And the Peter Pan story doesn't resonate with people anymore. You don't hear people going back saying like how great Peter Pan the story is. They like the characters. They like the concept of it. Like the flying and the, you know, a little bit of the swashbuckling stuff and the pirate and they get all that. But the actual fundamental story of you have, it's time to grow up does not fit in today's modern society it just doesn't people are don't look at it like we have to structure our lives and move forward people are having kids later and later if at all so that's a whole thing that's something i want you to think about when you watch if you watch this i will watch this movie just for you because it's gonna be terrible and i will tell you just how terrible it is. maybe it's good i don't know maybe it's a faithful adaptation i don't even think a faithful adaptation would be good because it just doesn't sit in today's modern society. So think about it. If you like what we do here, like and subscribe. We do appreciate it. I am the man you may know as Z, and I will join you on the next one. Thanks for watching, but I am on to the next one.